hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys some new products that bt artbox sent over to me and i've been loving their products recently so i'm excited to show you guys what i have i'm gonna start off with these first two products here which is like application gel products um i'm gonna start with this one here this is their x coat tip French Protecting Duo, which is a builder gel and also a top coat. Of course, you will need a UV or LED lamp to cure this, and I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like. So opening up the box, it comes with the instructions first, of course, how to prep your nails. I'm pretty sure by now you have a good idea how to prep your nails, but just in case you want to go back over it, everything is there for you to see. And this is what the bottles look like. These bottles are just so cute, y'all. I love the square shape and like the black, glossy, and purple. I just love this packaging. So this is the Builder Gel here. It has a thicker consistency for applying gel x nails or like strengthening your nails and then of course we have the top coat which is what you would use to finish off your designs to protect everything and of course make them shiny so this next product here that they sent over is a solid gel glue and again you will need a uv or led lamp this is a versatile beginner friendly um solid gel and it claims to be long lasting that is gonna last more than 28 days i'm assuming that is only if you prep your nails correctly and apply them correctly and of course not be like super hard and rough on your nails but this is what the tube looks like i've been really really loving this i think this has got to be my favorite solid glue gel for applying gel x nails like this like i just love this squeeze tube i love how it squeezes out the perfect amount and i love how the consistency is perfect it's not super thick and it's not super like watery either i feel like it is the perfect formula especially for beginners where you can put it on your nails to have control over the application and also they did upgrade me with a bigger tube so i'm so happy for that but let's just go ahead and get into the nails now so they did send over two of their um x coat soft gel systems the first one they sent me here are the coffin and i do believe these are the long size or length um and also one thing that is super interesting about them they have this patent soft gel system where the nails are basically formed with soft gel of course how you see here on the diagram it comes with these soft gel tips itself which is made from gel then on top of it it has the base coat so usually you would have to apply your nails apply the base coat with these nail tips you don't have to do that it's already done for you so you can go in with your designs or whatever you want top it off with top coat and it's gonna last also it claims to be perfectly fit for all nail beds whether you have like high or wide nail beds it's gonna fit no matter your nails and i do know that is one of the problems when it comes to sizing out your nails some people have like different nail beds so different nail tips are not gonna fit but these claim to fit all nails so if you haven't tried these yet i do recommend if you want to see if it's true or not of course i cannot speak for everyone because my nails isn't like everyone but for me they fit perfectly that is why i say these are my favorite like even in the quality you can tell these are made of gel like they feel super durable super nice like i just can't even explain it but taking a look underneath um, it looks shiny so you will have to like prep underneath your nails if you don't want them to last. The other set of nails that they sent over to me are I believe these are the medium length and they are in square. Personally, I do like these better because I love how the square looks on my nails. But just like the other ones, you get 300 pieces, 15 sizes. Something that's different about this one though, we have a 3-in-1 patent soft gel system. So just like the other ones, of course, we have these soft gel tips and the base coat on top. But underneath the soft gel tip itself, it has a tip primer. And that is different than the other one because, of course, you would have to prep underneath those. And it makes the prepping a lot easier since it is already done for you it just makes the application also a lot faster and i do love the colors of these they did send me both pink base and white tips although i kind of wish i got another um color i do love those black tips um also they do have a lot of different colors and a lot of different shapes i will leave the amazon link with like all of the listings so that you can go to them and check them out for yourself but yeah, I just love the way they are on this little grid here. It makes sizing them out easier. You don't have to keep picking them up and going through the bags and the boxes and everything. 
all of them are displayed for you here so you just size them out to your nails and twist and pull them off the little stems and just taking a look underneath of course we, they do have that matte finish which lets you know that the prepping steps is already done for you so now that we got that out the way i wanted to do something a little bit interesting for today's video so you know how everyone says the gel x system is super fast and very beginner friendly of course we have covered the beginner friendly part but i did just want to see how long it actually takes me to like do this entire step um, i'm not going to be doing a lot of prepping but i do want to like just include this because of course if you were to do this at home you will need to follow these steps or at least the two that i'm doing so i just quickly push back my cuticles and now i'm going to be taking my small mandrel drill bit and just going around the cuticle area and removing the shine from my natural nails i do have a stopwatch in the background so you can see the exact time because i didn't leave like every step in and like every second um like where i'm grabbing the products i did cut that out of course you don't really need to see that but of course we still have the timer going so you can see the exact time for each um step i'm doing for me since i am a little bit advanced when it comes to this i probably could have done this a lot faster but i did want to keep in mind that a lot of people cannot work as fast as me just because i've had a lot of practice because i create content on youtube for you guys um i just kind of wanted to keep it at a normal speed just so that it is a little bit more accurate for like beginners or people who haven't really done it as much if that makes sense um, also, I did stop the timer for me putting on my peel off base and once I finished, I started the timer right back and now I'm sizing out my nail tips and the reason I did stop the timer because that is not going to be a part of your steps. Um, essentially, you would go in with dehydrated and primer which is probably going to take you at the most like a minute for each. Um, especially if you are doing both hands but since I don't plan on wearing these nails long I have more content to film of course I went in with my peel off base just like I normally do but like I said I'm just sizing out my nail tips of course you want to make sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall for me personally I don't have to customize them a lot around the cuticle area before I apply them like I said these fit my nails super nice so perfect and not having to customize them just makes the entire process, like I said, a lot faster. If you have to do a lot of customization when it comes to the nails you are using now, I do recommend you guys try these just to see if they fit your nails. Because even looking at them, most of the nails that you use kind of have like a square finish. But just looking at these, you can see that they are a little bit more rounder. And I just feel like that is so nice. BT Artbox really made it easy when it comes to gel X systems. But the way I apply these is just like I always do. I am using the solid gel and not the builder gel just because I love the consistency of it so much. I'm squeezing a little bit of product inside of the nail tip and then I apply it to my nails holding it by the tip starting at my cuticle area and then just adding pressure towards the rest of the nail that way all the product just kind of spreads out. Once you see the product spreads out so satisfyingly over the entire surface you want to go ahead and cure after you have it straight. Um, and I do have my Melody Susie 2 in 1 light where I'm just flash curing them for about 15 seconds. And what I love about this is that it doesn't cure super fast. So you kind of see me where the product isn't cured all the way. Um, before I finish flash curing it, I'll just kind of swipe around my cuticle area and remove that. That way, once I finish applying them, I don't have to do a lot of removal with my e-file. And yeah, I just really, really love these tips, guys. And here, I'm just finishing up my thumb. So while I was applying these, I was only flash curing for about 15 seconds, but now that I have all of them applied, I am going to cure for a full 30 seconds in my bigger light. And now we have them applied, we can do a little bit of cleanup around my cuticle area. So I'm going to be taking my small mandrel drill bit from Kara Sky and just work that around the cuticle. The main thing I'm focusing on here is to just get up all of that spillage. 
um and also one thing i love to do is just blend the nail tip out make it a little bit thinner so it gives you a more natural and seamless look and even though i prefer to use my e-file for this you can use a hand file although i do feel like the e-file is a little bit more precise especially since you don't want to file too much on your skin either way no matter what you decide to use for this step this is definitely a step you don't want to skip So now that I sealed in my cuticle and remove all of that spillage, I'm going to be taking a hand file and just file at the free edge to remove that piece of gel where I popped the nails off. And also just to make them a little bit straighter and a little bit more neater. After this, we are technically done with these nails. Now, of course, after this, we will have to remove that dust. Of course, you see me doing here. Also go in with the lint-free wipe just to make sure all of that dust is removed. Now, I did only wanna see how long it's gonna take me to apply them and prep them and everything. And we are technically done. It took me nine minutes and two seconds to get everything done. Although, like I said, I do feel like it would have took me even less time, but I wanted to keep in mind that I am a little bit more advanced. I've had a lot of practice, so I wanted to work at a more normal speed just so the time is a little bit more accurate. Um, but this is how the nails look, y'all. I did decide on using the coffin one since I always use the square. And I just think these look so nice. Like, I love these so much. And I cannot wait to try their other lengths and styles. I do know they have quite a few options. Um, but based off my time, if you were to do both your hands, it will take you less than 20 minutes to apply them. That is not counting the design or the top coat, only the like prep and application process, which is not bad at all. Like usually nails take me like hours if I'm doing poly gel or acrylic. It takes me hours to apply the tips, apply the poly gel or acrylic, trying to make sure that it's really smooth. And then I have to go in with the filing and shaping and buffing. And then on top of that, do the design. And it takes me even longer if I am encapsulating something. So yeah, these nails are just a game changer. I do recommend you guys try these out. Getting into my design, I did want to try to recreate this design i seen from Crystal from C's Tutorials. I've been looking at that design for a while now and I wanted to recreate it and it just makes me so excited that I'm finally trying out my pigment powders. Um, I do believe this is from one of the like gifts box I got from Vetsy or either Colorful July. But you can get pigment powders from Amazon for a very affordable price. So if you want to check out some pigment powders, you can check on Amazon or I'll try to link some down below. But for this design, um, I firstly went in with a milky white from Kara Sky and just applied it to like on top of my white tip that's already there. And the reason for that is because I need a tacky layer for this pigment powder to like stick to. And I didn't cure for the entire 30 seconds. I cured it for about 15 seconds or 20. Just allow it to get a tacky layer. And once I pulled it out of the light, I go in with a little dust brush and just start to apply in random spaces different colors of the pigment powder. Once I did, I will dust it off. And now I'm going to go in with a milky white mixed with a little bit of more clear in a liner brush and just start to like create the rose pattern on top of that pigment powder and when i saw this design i felt like this was super cool i haven't seen anyone try this i don't know if crystal herself created this design or she got inspo but i'm gonna credit everything towards her because i haven't seen anyone else try this one of the things I do want to say I had a problem with is trying to fit the design on this small area. I feel like this would have looked so much better on like 3XL square nails. 
Um, I was about to use the square nails that BTR box in over but I always use those so I wanted to try a longer length. But yeah that's basically one of the only things I had problems with is trying to fit the rose designs on this small area. But I did try to make it work the best I could and once I finished putting on the rose with that milky white I do go ahead and cure for a full 30 seconds. Once I pull them out of the light I take a lint free wipe and some alcohol and just wipe over the design just to remove all of that extra pigment powder which is going to leave me with sort of like a gradient rainbow rose design and it is just so gorgeous y'all i love the way these look and it is just that simple that's basically what i'm gonna do for the rest of my nails since i already applied these gel x nails um and i didn't want to basically cover up my french tip i wanted to work with it so i just went ahead and did this only on the tips and of course i'm gonna add some bling to spice it up a little bit but yeah that's basically what i'm gonna be doing on all of my nails um i did do my thumb first just because it's kind of like the nail off to the side I wanted to see how it's gonna look first um, see how the colors were going to blend and I feel like once I did my thumb I had a good idea of how I wanted the rest to go um, I got an idea of how the colors were going to work whether I need to center the print or try to do different ones in different areas um, and I did feel like it does work better when I try to start the rows in the middle of my nail that way it gets seen a lot better and it just works out better with the colors as well but yeah that's basically what I'm going to be doing on all of my nails I really hope you guys enjoyed Enjoy this design doing these were super fun although the pigment powder was so messy getting everywhere I had a lot of fun doing this and actually I filmed this video around 10 o'clock at night I don't usually start that but for some reason I was just motivated to just come do a quick nail set and I'm so happy that I did them because I just love the way these turned out so yeah, I'm just going to let you guys finish watching me apply these chrome powders to create this ombre pigment powder rose design. Let me know if you have seen anyone else try this design or something similar. I would really love to see what they have done. Also, let me know if you have these tips from BTR Box or if you want to try them. And lastly, if you are enjoying today's video, make sure to leave a like. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are feeling generous, leave a comment down below.
so finishing up my last nail i'm just going to make sure to go in very very generously with some alcohol and a lymphy wipe to clean up everything once i put my pigment powders back and cleaned up my area i did bring out my bling box and a matte top coat from not polish i'm gonna go over all of my nails with a matte top coat just because i feel like whenever i do a matte top coat on like nail art it is just more defined you can see it a lot better so i feel like this will look really really nice with a matte top coat on it and I'm just going to cure on some rhinestones along my smile line into that matte top coat. Um, and I did go with about 7 rhinestones on each nail. I put one in the middle and then 3 off to the side. I didn't want to put them close together because I felt like it would have been too much bling. So I did decide to space them out and that's how I'm going to finish today's design y'all. I'm just going to let you guys watch this and enjoy and I will be back to show you guys what the finished nails look like. The last thing I'm going to do for my nails is to apply some cuticle oil and guys this is how the nails turn out. These look so freaking cute like I honestly didn't really expect much but they turned out so much better than I thought. Like I just love the way they look they're super different and not to mention the process was just super fun working with all of the colorful pigment powders. I just love these so much. I also think the bling added a nice touch to it so it doesn't look super plain. With the pigment powders underneath the rose design overlapping, it gives it the perfect and most seamless ombre gradient effect. And yeah, I just really, really love how they turn out. Um, like I mentioned, I do think it would look a lot better on longer nails. That way I have a lot more space to work with and you can see more of the rose look. Maybe I can add a couple roses. But my first time doing this, I absolutely love it. I'm super proud of myself. And I think this will look so pretty for the summer. Maybe only doing like summer colors where it's not like super rainbowish. Um, also, I really do love these BT Art Box nails. I honestly recommend them if you guys haven't tried them. I can honestly say these are my favorite soft gel or gel X nails to apply. I will have everything linked down below. Let me know how you guys enjoyed today's design and video and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!